This wasn't about baseball, it was about hope. Nick wanted to show his dad that you could do practically anything with one arm that you could do with two. Relax, take it smooth, his father advised. Don't laugh if I screw up. In double A, I played with a guy who was ambidextrous. He could throw out a base runner with either arm. He played right field left-handed and left field right-handed. Are you serious, Nick said. Incredible athlete. Unfortunately, he couldn't hit an over a curveball to save his life, Greg Waters said. Now he's selling washing machines in Pensacola. Turning the baseball in his free hand, Nick lined up his first two fingers with the stitches. Having his other arm bound to his back made him feel out of balance, almost tippy. Nice and easy, his dad said. Nick uncoiled and heaved the ball as hard as he could. It bounced six feet in front of the net and rolled into the mesh. Blushing, he kicked at the ground. Gosh, I throw like a girl. His father chuckled. Don't let your mom hear you say that. She was the strikeout ace on her college softball team. Now do it again, only slow your motion. Nick retrieved the baseball and tried throwing with an easier rhythm. This time his pitch caught the lower half of the net. That's better. Take a longer step towards your target, Greg Waters suggested. By the 10th throw, Nick was consistently hitting the strike zone. The pitches weren't very fast, but at least they were straight. His father said, Nicky, yeah, that's pretty darn good. I mean it. Thanks, Dad. Can I give it a shot? Sure. But as soon as Greg Waters stood up, he began to sway. Nick rushed over and studied him. Let's wait till tomorrow, Dad. You've had a long day. I'm all right. Let me have the ball. You sure? Nick glanced back toward the house and saw his mother watching anxiously from the kitchen window. Ball, please. Greg Waters held out his left hand. Nick gave him the baseball and he headed for the mound. His uncertain gait and heavily banded shoulder made him appear bulky, almost bear-like. Remember, nice and easy, Nick called out. You bet. His father stared down an imaginary batter, nodded at an imaginary catcher, and then rocked back into a jerky version of his normal wind-up motion. The pitch flew wildly past the net, through the hedge, and over the fence. They heard a distinct gong as the baseball bounced off their neighbor's barbecue grill. Oh, crap, Greg Waters muttered. Nick didn't want him to be discouraged. You still got plenty of heat, Dad. Could you go get it? I want to try one more time. Not tonight. You need to rest. Nicky, go find the ball, his dad said sharply. It was floating in the neighbor's pool. Nick hurriedly fished it out and scrambled back over the fence. He was glad to see that his mother had come out of the house. He hoped that she would talk his dad into taking a rest. There's someone at the front door to see you, she said to Nick. Who is it? Greg Waters reached for the baseball, but Nick's mother grabbed it first. You're benched for the night, big fella, she told him. Who's the door, Mom? Nick asked again. Some boy with a motorcycle, she said. He says he's in your biology class. 